If you're looking for a way to send your job form contacts to constant contact in a selective manner, I'm going to show you how right now. What's up, everyone? My name is George, and I'm going to show you how to send your job form contacts to constant contact in a selective manner. That means that only the contacts that you decide you want to send over will be sent over to constant contact. The idea is to integrate with job form tables by creating a button that's going to send the contact only if you click on that button. You also have the option to do the integration directly on the form and send every single contact to constant contact. But in this case, we're going to be selective and only send the contacts that we decide. Okay, so this is my job form dashboard. And let me go ahead and create a new form that we're going to use for this integration. So it's going to create a form, start from scratch, classic form. And we're going to add a few basic elements for this test. Full name, address, phone, and email. Okay, this is going to be the demo form that we're going to use, but it could be your form, however you decide to create it. Okay, now, as I mentioned before, if you integrate directly in the integrations with constant contact here, and what you're going to do here is if you integrate here, it's going to send every single submission contact to constant contact. Maybe you want to be selective like the way I'm going to show you here. Okay. So in this case, let's go ahead and fill out this form with demo data to get started. Let's fill this form and we're going to send it off. Okay. We have the first submission. Let's fill it out one more time. Okay. And this time it's going to be a bit different just for testing purposes. And I'm going to say test. Okay. Let's go ahead and submit it. Let's head on out of here. Let's go to our job form tables because this is where we're going to create our buttons to send that data to constant contact. So here we go. We have two form submissions and maybe you have hundreds or thousands and you want to be selective with the contacts that you send over to constant contact. In this case, there are no contacts in this constant contact account and we're going to start sending it over there. Okay. So in this case, let's click on the app button. We're going to go to buttons, send data to other apps. Let's go ahead and select this next. Let's give the column a name and this, I'm going to say send data next. We're going to search for constant contact. Go ahead and select it. And if you have accounts that you've connected previously, you'll find it here. And if you haven't connected before, you'll have a button here. In this case, let me go ahead and select the account that I've created before. I'm going to choose the list. If you have several lists available in constant contact, you're going to view them right here. So let's go ahead and select this list. And automatically, it's going to tie the elements from job form to constant contact. So email with email, name with name, phone with phone, and the address, etc. If you have more columns in your job form and you want to connect it with constant contact, you can add a new field right here for a different type of element. And you'll go ahead and choose it over there and connect it. Okay. In this case, we're going to remove it and we're going to use the ones that have created automatically. If something is not connected correctly, go ahead and reconnect it with the correct element. Okay. Let's go ahead and save this. Okay. It's now selected. Let's create the column. And here we go. We now have our buttons. So let's get started by sending this one, which is John Smith. Okay, let's go ahead and send this data. Here we go. It's now been sent out. Let's go to constant contact. Let's go ahead and refresh. There we go. The contact has now been added here. Let's go ahead and open this up. We got the email address. We got the first name, the last name, the physical address. Remember, we just typed in test the phone number and it's now created here. Now, what we've done right here is selectively sent that contact data to constant contact. That means that if you have hundreds or thousands of form submissions here, you're going to analyze them and just send the data to constant contact from the ones that you decide to. For example, if you're asking for data for hiring new employees and you found that that contact is interesting, send that data over there and you'll just do it manually for those particular contacts. On the other hand, if we connect directly on the form, that's going to send every single contact to constant contact. And you might have a different use case, but in this case, we are sending selectively those contacts. Now, if you need to change the button, go ahead and click on the options here. And there's the option to edit action button. That means that you can change the action to connect to a different app instead of constant contact if you need to do so later on. Okay. And if you need to customize the button, click on the customize button style. You have different options here. For example, right now it says send data and I could change it to, for example, constant contact, change the style to blue, maybe add an icon here for something that's more related to sending out contacts. So there's several icons available here. In this case, I'm going to send this little button here. I'm going to add that little guy here. Let's go ahead and update the style. And here we go. We have a new button here. So let's go ahead and send this one out too, just to show you. Go to constant contact. Let's go ahead and refresh it. 
and here we go we have the two contacts here so it's a really useful way to selectively send your contact data to constant contact so it's a super easy way to connect now if you need to create more columns with different buttons with different connections to different apps it is possible to create new columns here all right well i thank you all for watching please let us know here in the comments what you think about this integration with job form and constant contact and what you would like to see in the future don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.